Okay, so welcome. Day five, congratulations. What great progress and just sticking to this. And again, the 21 days of fasting and prayer isn't about the rules. I've offered some guidance and some resources to really take this the way you want to do it. Just the fact that you're still listening to this, you're on the right path. This is really a blessing to be able to focus. I think each of these videos are going to be somewhere between two and a half and five minutes by the end on, on God and the Psalms and, and just drawing our focus if even for a few moments a day. So here we go. 21 days of fasting and prayer, journey through Psalms. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Mark 1, 35. Day one was Psalm 1. Day two, Psalm Day three, Psalm eight. Day four, Psalm 19. So how is this feeling so far? Have you noticed maybe some shifts in your hunger? Shifts in your willingness to direct your attention to God for help? Maybe some actual shifts that have happened in your life. I created a sheet with day one, day two, day three listed. It was basically from a table of contents. And each day I write down what the date is, what the psalm is, just a couple of words from the psalm. And the major shift I, I saw in the day and close out the day with gratitude. I'm keeping this as simple as it can be. And yet day after day, the shifts are amazing, which is why I went ahead and launched this program at this point of day four of my own journey, because I realized the power in saying, obeying, and sharing. And so this is my gift to make it easier for others on their journey as well. So here we have day five, which is Psalm 23. Psalms 23, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths. For his name's sake, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table for me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thanks be to God. With love in my heart today, I read, I write, I say, I obey, I share, and I pray. And at the end of the day, I conclude with my journal of gratitude that my eyes be open to the miracles in my life. 